Good afternoon, everybody. So, you know, we took down a bunch of trees and we've been working on the yard, uh, grass planting, all kinds of gardens and stuff like that. We're about to do grass out there as well. That'll be another video. With all that, we need irrigation and living at the lake. Hey, I got a kind of free water right there. All I have to do is pump it. So my brother-in-law, thanks Frank, gave me a well pump which is great because it's powerful enough to pump enough water. I bought a little sump pump, another video, uh, that I use to water my garden, just my regular tomatoes and corn and all that stuff. It will never do the whole yard. It is not strong enough. It's a $20, $25 pump uh, that I got like a fish tank. Uh, it says it'll do 800 gallons an hour, but no, it won't. So this pump was wired to 20 when I got it. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna rewire it for 110. There are good videos out there, easy to find good videos on this. However, they all assume you know what you have already. So uh, you have a manual, you've got a good guide, you can see the wires clearly, and you understand what's going on. Well, I don't, I can't, I can't, I understand electricity, don't get me wrong. I don't know what's going on with this motor. So I need to figure out, was it wired for 220? It's not labeled. Uh, and I need to figure that out so that I can properly wire it for 110. Now, when I put it in, when, when I get power down to my dock, cause I am running 220 to my dock. When I get that, I will have, uh, I'll switch it back to 220 probably because it draws so much, it draws half the power. But for now, I need to know how to figure out is this setup as 220 or 110 and then convert it to 110. So here it is, it's on my bench. It is an AO Smith, which I don't think makes electric motors anymore, or at least not pumps like this. And it has a wiring diagram up here, which conveniently this part right there, what I need is, uh, or I thought I needed, was scratched out. So again, this is maybe the kind of situation that you're in and you're trying to figure this out. I can see the 220 side. You can see right there that that says 220 and this says 115, but it might say 230. If this says 115, that most likely says 230. Uh, same thing, 110, 115, 120, and 220, 230, 240. Don't, don't worry about those. As long as they're one of those numbers, you're fine. And the difference is that we have black tracer up here and black. Can't tell exactly where the black is going. And then black tracer up here and black, and they go to two different places. So in this case, it says black tracer is going down to this one. Black would be going up to L2. This is L1. This is L2, you can see that on there. It's hard to see, because this is old, and I had to actually brush the paint off of it because it was painted completely over. So it looks like the difference is, if you just study this for a minute, where this black line comes here. The other one comes in here, or maybe it turns and goes up here, uh, but it's hard to tell because of the scratch here. But for sure, this one comes here, and for sure, this one goes there. See, these were actually painted blue too, so I can't even tell the colors on them, but alas, they're both white. Both white means probably 220. So this is L2, there's A, and there's L1. This says L1. Ah, ah, I'm looking at this completely backward. I'm not changing my inbound lines. Those are the same, okay? Your, your line, your 115 or your 110, the coming in, it's actually coming in from this side. Power's coming in this way, but in reality, the power's coming in this way. 110 comes in, goes here and here. That doesn't change. What does change is this goes out to here or this goes out to here. 
and I've got it figured out. It was difficult because it didn't make any sense. And the reason it didn't make any sense is, like I said, this is backward. It shows line coming in, flowing right to left, where it, the reality is the line's coming in, it's flowing left to right. It shows A, L1, and L2, which I know is difficult to see that L2, but it's right there. But the reality is, A is in the middle, but this is L2 and this is L1. You can see the L2 there. So it's backward on here from the way it actually is. So the key to this was just studying it. So my issue is when I look at this, 220 comes in and then the difference is you have a black that either goes to the A and the black tracer to the L2. So that's how you know that it's 220. And lo and behold, I have a black that comes to the A and the black tracer, which is the white wire with the black trace on it, that's going to L2. Black to the A, black tracer to L2, black to the A, black tracer to the L2. This is wired for 220. I have to wire it for 110. And the problem is I can't see because that's scratched off where that black line is supposed to actually go. But what I do know is the black tracer has to move to A. So this black line here has to move somewhere. And this black tracer has to move to this spot. So the, the issue is there's continuity between all these. I verified that. So it doesn't make sense to me at this point. But uh, I'm going to find online somewhere a diagram for this. And we'll figure out where I'm supposed to go with this black wire. Because I know where the black tracer goes. So here's the new wiring for 110, 115, 120. The black tracer wire, which is the white wire with the black trace, trace on it, goes to A and black goes to L1. There's really no other place for black to go. Even though this is scratched out, L2 doesn't have the black wire going to it because this whole setup right here looks identical with the exception of the black tracer which was one on L2 so there's nothing on L2 now and the tracer wire goes to A so black has to go to L1 there's only three places to plug in L1 L2 and A so it has to well B I suppose is technically where the black tracer was, but the only other option would be if black goes to B, which I now must try and figure out because L1, no, L2 has B, L2 has B, L1 only has itself. So there's no other place to put it because if it's going to L1, there's only, if it's going to the bottom in this diagram, there's only one place and that's L1. So we moved the tracer wire to A and we're gonna take black and put it on L1 and hope I'm right, but I believe I am.